we just went, you know, we made a game plan that we were going to come out in February of 84, beginning of February, and just go for it and blow everybody's brains out. And Right, like whatever, three weeks after the accident or whatever. Um, called my friend Michael and uh, you know we got together or whatever. I told him I wanted to do an audition, and so Lars called me and just went from there. You know, he told me I had four days before an audition or whatever, and so I uh, locked myself in my room with the tapes and just did it, learned you know, everything I could. And when I, when I heard that I had the chance, you know, there was no way that I wasn't going to get it. And, I mean, there's just, I mean, I told myself convince myself there's no way that I was gonna let this pass me by because it's like you know a dream come true really. I'm just gonna try to create you know the separate personality I mean everybody like he was saying everybody's got their own thing you know Kirk has his personality Lars has his James and then as as a unit you know they all put one quarter in to make the ultimate unit right so I'm just gonna fill my 25% over here on this side and create my own personality and and you know as far as the bass playing you know, I'm just gonna do my own style um, like Lars told me, and he was saying, you know, they're not looking for a Cliff Burton clone. That'd be impossible. And there's no way it ever could happen. So I'm just gonna, you know, <coughs> play my own style and and just do, you know, do my thing. And then. Possibilities, uh, amazing. I've had, you know, my I've been up quite a few days out of these last ten since I've been working on the songs and things and letting my mind run with it. And uh, you know, he's a I'm pro. We all should uh, aspire to be half as cool as Oz when we get, you know what I'm saying? That's where it's at.
just cut out of it. We don't want to do that today. Awesome. Boing. Let's see. Six, six, six. Because that kind of comes out of their forehead. You know, like in the movies, shit. It's kind of and raises out of their skin, like transformation shit or something. It's pretty scary. And the, but those guys don't. They don't understand. They don't come to them, you know, later. Like. When they're about 40 or something, if they live till then. They're about to be 40 and then they'll realize really where it's at, you know. But it's okay because I put up with them. I have to. I have to. You know, it's for the kids. It's only, it's only my guitar and him. Jason's making sandwiches to take back to the hotel room because he's too cheap to order room service. Does it every night. We watch him every night, like get stuff. He puts it in the bag. I ask him about it. Jason, oh is it because you can't afford room service? Yes, it is. I got plans for those millions, and it ain't for fucking sandwiches. You got that?